Battle control initialized. Hello there, comrades and cannon fodder. It's Devoid here. I've got a 1v1 multiplayer game on Kosovo map for you. I'm using France for this game. My opponent is using Ukraine. Um, I thought I was due a game with the Allies um, today, so I thought I'd get a, get a few in. Uh, I haven't been using them today so far up until this. This was my first game with the Allies today. And it looks like we're both... <laughs> yeah, my opponent's sending his rifles around. Um, look at that. He's off to a few places. He's hunting engineers, all right. Look at the state of that. I mean, it's the early game, but look at all those orders. Nice. Who's going to catch an engineer? I've got my guy covered. Um, Where's the enemy engineer? Has he got one yet? No. He hasn't trained an engineer yet. I've captured my first oil derrick. He's training more rifles. He's taking up a central position. I'm guessing he, he thinks he's got that covered, but no. My opponent has got a rifleman there. That's a good position to place one because he could catch my engineer if I didn't have these guys in place. And my opponent's even got a rifleman there in my in my secondary ore patch and at my expansion. But I've captured two oil derricks now. My opponent's still let's have a look it doesn't look like he's no he's building his rocket troops now he still hasn't got an engineer so there yeah, i shot one guy with the barrels that was nice and i've got the second guy as well by the looks of it he started firing back too late but um it looks like we've got a bit of an engagement here and it's a nice group of infantry that so i've got to be careful my engineer's turning back he was heading straight for him but I've got to be careful, I've just built my war factory, so these guys ran straight into trouble. Ouch, I don't even, I hardly got any damage. So I thought, right, well rather than engage, I'll move these back and then engage with my light tank. Let's see what my, what's my opponent um, working on. Has he got a scout vehicle? He's building something. Oh, it looks like an ore truck, so he hasn't got a vehicle with his front line. Now I can see he's firing rockets, so I've got to watch it. That was a 10 crush. A 9 or a 10 crush, that was. And it survived. That was nice. It's turned the engagement in the centre in my favour, because my opponent did do quite well with that little group of infantry. Now, this has given its position away, this single rifleman, and I thought he just appeared there at this point. Now my opponent's got an engineer, he's actually capturing. And he's fallen back. Interesting. I don't think I went for that. I, d I wouldn't have even known. He should have stuck with it. But I've cleared that rifleman out and he was there all along. He was only revealed because I placed the refinery there. He was sat there all along just like this guy's there. And he's got, so he's tracking, so he's going to track my expansions closely. Now, let's have a look at the initial army value. 4,000 to me, 3,000 to my opponent. Not surprised there's a slight lead because of that engagement. I just won and sent him packing. I didn't kill many, but, you know, I evened things out, I think. Yeah, I've got 23. He's got 22 kills, so I did. I evened things out, at least. And now he's got a scout vehicle. He's using an APC. That's what I would normally have. But this time, because I'm using France, I've got my light tank. Nice little vehicle, and it matches the APC. It can out, because the light tank's gone, is effective against the APC. It's actually got two, look. Very nice. Now, let's see, is there anything in it? Nope. Now, I'm placing rifle guards here and there, look, to watch for flank attacks and stuff. These guys are going to secure my expansion. I should have my um, 
should have my MCV building yet. Now my opponent's building more APCs. He hasn't got his second um, MCV building yet. So, you know, um, if you want a death sentence, then that's it. Self-inflicted. Do that. Because he's not expanded. He has secured that nicely. And my opponent's got their engineer down there, it looks like. I've got mine here, actually. He's still around. And there's my opponent's. But he didn't capture that, so it's two oil derricks to me, zero to my opponent. He doesn't t seem too bothered. But um, let's have a look at um, army values now. 11,000 each. How is he keeping up when he's got so few ore trucks and he's not expanding? He's got four ore trucks. Right, let's have a look at this eco tab. Yeah, I've earned 10,000 more. I've got 10,000 more in assets. Look, and there's three APCs. They're not going to do anything. And he's got APCs with his army. <clears throat> They're not going to work. Now, they might crush all my troops and win the engagement that way. But four, you would be better off... Um, Starting a bit later when you've got more and then a few tanks just to draw my fire and screen his units while these guys can hopefully do their crushing while I'm committed. And look, here we go. I destroyed two. He got some nice crushes with the last one. But now he's got no screening vehicles. <coughs> he's beaten. I can just move my tanks in. I've got my light tank still. So I can just move my tanks in, no problem. And I've got tanks joining me and my opponent has built his first heavy tank. About time. Now he's got a 3,600 value army and I've got 14,000, so he's blown it there. The APCs, like I say, if it had been another few minutes, he could have um, had a few heavy tanks and it would have made all the difference. He could have used those APCs differently. But sending them straight in like that, yeah, two were wrecked before they reached my front line. <clears throat> and I'm building medium tanks now. My opponent's second heavy tanks just rolled out. And I thought, rather than continue the pressure at his main base, I'll actually um, see what he's doing here. And he's got nothing. He's expanded here instead. Um, 18,000 army value to me, 6,700 to my opponent. Let's just have a look at the economy. Yeah, my opponent's running out of cash. He's got five ore trucks. I've got seven and two oil derricks. My opponent's captured an oil derrick here. So I've got this one here and this one here. My engineer's there. So if I send him for this oil, Derek, I'm assuming he'll... Oh, look at that. He's going to run straight into the enemy rifleman. And my guy was firing, but he didn't cover him quite enough. It was only the view range from my engineer that actually allowed the rifle guard to fire. I didn't even see him there. But um, I'm now expanding to that point. It's my third expansion. I've nearly mined this one out. My opponent's hardly touched his. So his um, earnings and that are going to start dropping lower. But I've got a 25,000 army value. My opponent's got a 12,000 army value. I thought they were much stronger. And here I've wrecked the... All trucks taken out there. Oh, he's not moving the other one away. He's going to go down this all truck. Yeah, he's lost both of them there. And now, though, he's got these forces. It's going to totally annihilate my attack force. It's only a small force, so I'm trying to retreat here, look. And what I'm doing is I'm rallying everyone else to here. Everyone. That's from all the way across the map, look. Because these guys are going to have to get out of there, draw a bit of attention while the rest of my army do something. Because even though I've suffered the loss of that um, that attack force there, I'm still at 22,000 army value. My opponent's at 14,000 army value. Now, I knew he was busy, so I sent another small attack force. Right, taking damage from the flame tower. Shoddy. Uh, and he's moving out with his MCV. It is about time. Um, but he's saving it, I'm assuming. 
And now I'm going for the... I've had to sacrifice those guys and I'm going for the service depot. I wonder how well I did. Poor light tank. They're not going to make that. But then again, their shots are damaging it. Perfect. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm glad I left that one on the edge of the service depot because their own shots were damaging it. He's left his engineer there. I'm at a 21,000 army value. My opponent's at a 16,000 army value. 22 to 16 in thousands army value. And I've got my newest expansion set up. There's four ore trucks on that one. This is still mining bit by bit, but one of these will have to move on soon for efficient harvesting. And I sent a tank to scout for my MCV, make sure there's nothing waiting there for me. That's a decent attack force, actually. It's a good-sized army. You know, I was seeing stuff like this and thinking that, it, you know, I was up against larger forces than I was. You know, I thought... I was kind of, you know, this is why I'm being quite uh, so defensive and grouping everything together. I did send a couple of decent attack forces, they've done their job. But, like I say, I was seeing some of getting glimpses of these large forces and thinking I was up against a massed army where I've got 30,000 and they've got 18. So uh, it was a very different situation to what I thought. But he's being indecisive. He could have wiped out these power, uh, two power, th one power plant. Three of them are fake, <laughs> and that one's fake as well. I like that with France. You can just fake up all the power plants. And what's going to happen here? What's he? What a shame. That was an effective move. It would have killed all this. So here we go, he's coming for an engagement, 34,000 to 20,000 in my favour. And I've got artillery on the scene now, and mechanics, so these wrecks are going to be mine. And the artillery is only one in the battle at the moment, but it's doing some lovely work, look. And my tanks are screening my troops perfectly, and he's just been smashed. And now my mechanics, I'm training more, but I want them to start bringing these wrecks back to life. There's one. There's two, and one of them's a heavy tank, so that's very handy. And I've got two more mechanics on the way. These wrecks will start to burn out, sadly. Right, there's three tanks fixed. One wreck has just disappeared. I've got two engineers. Another wreck has just disappeared, because they burn out over time. You have to hurry up and capture it. Oh, no, look. I could have got that. And that was a heavy tank, I think, as well, one of them. But there you go. Do I get the last one? Yeah, there's another. So that's a nice group of several, and this force here has just put tanks up front and stopped his last defence. And he's called it here, I've got artillery, uh, I've got spies, um, and I've overrun him. Now he has got um, this here, so if he can build a war factory, he can actually produce tanks and infantry and base defences. So uh, I've got my spies, and I'm still thinking um, of... Like, I've got veteran vehicles, and I've got two infiltrations. He had no money. No money at all. But I've got 11 grand, so... Yeah, I'm assuming none of it came from him. But, there you go, I've overrun him. Uh, sent this small force this way, and I've still got en uh, mechanics running in and trying to capture the wrecks, because why you need to be efficient. There you go, there's an extra ore, ore truck. And this mechanic can do a bit of repair work on it. And now these guys have discovered the enemy, so I had to stop and let, let the medic do a bit of healing. While these guys start to mass, and he's, uh, he's killed a full star veteran there. I shouldn't have wasted those guys. They've earned their rank, and I shouldn't let them die meaningless for meaningless uh, reasons. But here we go, I've overrun them. No tanks up front, because it's just it's over. And here we go. Have I got... Yeah, I've got a heavy tank veteran, look. At least one I got. Now I've got a helicopter moving in. Three artillery pieces still. Um, and I'm still moving in mechanics. They are really good. When you're using allies and you're in combat engagements or attacking enemy eco, eco raids and stuff, launching eco raids, attacking enemy ore trucks and expansions, always be ready to produce mechanics close by 
and snatch up a load of wrecks because that got me about five extra vehicles one of which is a heavy tank so you can't deny the value of these mechanics and um, they're well worth using well worth it um, and I, uh, I did build a few thieves obviously um, the uh, it was too late in the game for them to be effective but i did get start producing veteran tanks look you see there when the tanks roll out of your war factory if i get a spy in the enemy war factory which i did my tanks are built as veterans and it enables you with allies and the medium tanks that are quite weak compared to soviet heavy tanks it allows you to match them as the game goes on it's a little bit of a bonus to their abilities now the soviets can't uh, build their units at veteran level so it enables allies to kind of match soviet tank power a little bit just enable you to match them in that area a little better so you, you can use your other advantages you know with allies because you don't match soviets head on brute force it's uh, the allies are more tactical and more skillful than that more tactical and strategic but the soviets they, they suit a brute force tactic this, it suits them um so yeah it helps helps allies match soviet heavy tanks when the game goes on a bit further you uh, produce your tanks and if you get a spy in the enemy barracks you'll produce infantry at veteran as well as soon as they're trained they come out as veterans now that's very handy and um you've got a lot of other uses for your spies but i got an infiltration or two although it was only served to tell me that the enemy was broke as far as I know, but there you go. That was uh, that was an interesting game, and I've had trouble with my internet late on on a, a few nights. But tonight it was only a brief glitch off and back on again, thankfully. But here's the army graph. Um, you can see we were matched quite closely in army value, but my opponent had a drop in army value and never recovered. Never managed to recover it, and my army cut the steep. How steep my uh, army graph is. It's steeper than the opponent, so my armies were growing at a f more rapid rate. Uh, so there's the army graph for you. Here's the earnings graph. Yeah, my earnings were, um, yeah, more stable and better. Um, here we go. I've got a large army left. Three artillery, helicopter, heavy tank. That looks like about 15 medium tanks or something. Is it? There's four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm assuming one of those I counted was a heavy tank. Oh no, there's more. Look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Well, at least seventeen then. It looks like eighteen or nineteen on the on the army tab. But I've got over 100, 112 rifles, 45, I think, rocket soldiers, a few medics, um, got a mechanic left. Um, yeah, so that's a good army, army group to finish on. And I'm building helipads so I can produce helicopters more quickly because I've got one helipad, but if I want to train helicopters and get a decent presence, you need two or three helipads to speed up the helicopter production. Uh, pillboxes, so rocket soldiers, medium tanks and helicopters. Yeah, my production's still going strong. I earned 124,000, my opponent earned 71. I got 10 ore trucks at the end and 12,000 cash. So I was ready to go on and fight for the long game. Plus I've still got uh, an oil derrick left and I could capture this one with the amount of uh, presence and map control and army strength I've got. I could quite easily have taken that. It was one soldier that stopped me from doing that. So it was my it was down to my error that I didn't take that rather than anything else. But it was well placed from my opponent, that rifle guard. But I'm at 28 actions per minute. My opponent's at 32. Um, there's your um, basic tab. So um, I hope you enjoyed the game. Um, if you like what you saw, give us a sub and a like. And take good care of yourselves. And until next time, everyone, um, goodbye. Battle control terminated.